51 years ago, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 outlawed state and local governments from racial discrimination in voting. Fast forward to now, according to News 21 latest investigation, new voting laws has emerged in the South that could affect almost 3.72 million unregistered African Americans as of 2012. In light of the new voting laws, Congresswoman Terry Sewell helped launch the Congressional Voting Rights Caucus along with her office campaign, hashtag Restore the Vote. Unfortunately, what happened is now Congress has failed to act. We have yet to really bring about change to what Shelby V. Holder struck down. So that opened the floodgates to states to make voting rights changes um, without having any type of formula to, to see what, if what they're doing is discriminatory or not. And now we're left with discriminatory practices in different states. And uh, this Restore the Vote campaign is to bring awareness to that, uh, to let people know about it, and to bring support behind it because it's really needed. With 2016 being an election year, if action is not taken now, millions of African Americans will not be able to vote on who they want to reside in this house next year. Organizations like the Greater Washington National Urban League are making sure people get out and vote. We have a group here called the Thursday Network which are our young professionals and, uh, you know, really support us on the front lines in terms of going out, uh, making sure that persons are registered to vote, and then making sure that persons, not only are they registered to vote, but they know where their voting precinct or poll is uh, to actually go vote. For Howard University News Vision, I'm Danielle Solomon.